In this video, we'll talk about execution without intention. Executing an idea can be very difficult, which is why ultimately not every good idea becomes an instant hit. Sometimes people decide not to do anything about their ideas and ideas get forgotten. Other times it can be external factors like lack of knowledge or mismanagement that kills off an idea before anything can happen. But external factors aside, here we will look at aspects which are under your control and mismanagement on your part may be doing more damage than good. The problem of under communicating. We already touched upon the importance of effective communication earlier, so let's elaborate that thought a little here. The problem remains that most leaders tend to under communicate by a huge factor. Many fall victim to saying a few things a few times and then they think that everyone must get it, so they stop saying it anymore. However, the issue is that those who follow by example don't get it after a few times. There's so much communication going on all the time that your particular message can easily get lost in all that garble. Many leaders tend to under communicate their vision and strategy, which means that their vision never makes it to the execution stage. An important consideration here, don't be a stickler for simply saying it verbally. Turn to other means of communication by saying it in person, on the phone, in an email, via video conferencing, and also in meetings. Lack of team involvement. So even if you're saying it enough times, are you sure that everyone can hear your message? This brings us to another reason why good strategies often fail. Any business, whether small, mid-sized, or large, needs everyone to be on board. The same goes for non-business scenarios as well. Despite having the best plan on paper, execution can go out the window if all departments of the business are not involved. This is because the execution process needs contribution from every department, so it needs to be a coordinated effort. Remember that you cannot execute strategy alone. Do not undermine the size of your team when it comes to executing the plan. If you have a team of six, things are fairly easy. Expand that number to 60 and things start to get trickier. Often strategy leaders do a great job of gaining support from their immediate colleagues and direct reports, but do not present equally impressive results of securing similar support from others. Many large companies view strategy as an annual activity conducted by an elite group of people who sequester themselves in a conference room. In smaller organizations, the same comes as an edict from above on which employees must act. But because execution of the strategy demands action, it requires specific people to carry it out. Lack of such involvement can easily become the cause of strategy failure. When employees are not given the chance to question high-level strategy, it can spell trouble for the company. Instead of isolating certain demographics, get the communication going through a conversation thread that involves everyone in the organization. Involving team players early on will make the communication component of the process so much easier. And as seen earlier, communication is key to making sure that a strategy takes off and delivers results. Too many times, plans do not take off with a blast, only to see communication dwindle gradually as everyone returns to business as usual. Poor decision making. Company success and failure is dictated by decision making. The same also applies when you think about achieving personal and not business goals. Among these, poor decision making can kill a good strategy if people in the organization do not see it as a source of strategy failure. Given a directive of too many goals can create a situation where everything becomes a priority. In this situation, nothing really gets accomplished, but projects do remain pending. Given this scenario, it is important for business owners to know how to select, prioritize, edit, and delete decisions. If you are working on a personal goal like boosting confidence, developing leadership qualities, saving money, eating healthy, or something similar, you will also need to make the right decisions. Some things you will have to be a stickler for, while others you'll need to forego completely. Pick and choose your options wisely. So whether a decision is made solo or is team-based, it's important to make sure that you have a process where warning signals can be detected should you need to revisit your decision. Remember an earlier reference to work in progress? Well, this is where you need to have the flexibility to make adjustments and improvise according to the demands of the situation. Hiring the wrong people. 
Another good reason why a perfectly workable strategy doesn't work is because you hand it to the wrong person to execute. Oftentimes, implementing a new strategy involves hiring or promoting an employee specifically tasked with executing that particular strategy. But If you get the hiring wrong, then the strategy fails as well, or at least appears to do so. And because hiring is a difficult process, people just dump the strategy rather than go through the entire hiring process again. Insufficient data or overly complex plans. Both of these factors make up for poor communication. If a plan is based on wrong assumptions due to insufficient data or even misunderstood data, then the drive towards execution will be a disaster from the start. A relatable example would be miscalculating financial estimates or even the number of people required for executing the plan. An example of a personal goal could be something like wanting to travel to certain destinations without laying out an itinerary or budgeting your travel costs properly. Likewise, if a plan is too difficult to explain to others, how can you hope for effective communication and the desired result? When plans are not effectively capable of being explained, given their complexity, team members cannot be expected to carry them out as intended. A plan that has too many contingencies or restrictions will not only become too hard to follow, let alone implement. Another reason why perfectly good strategies fail to take off. Expecting results too soon. When you implement a strategy, you need to give it time to produce results. If the results do not come quickly enough, don't start to tinker with the strategy. There's often a lot of excitement at the beginning of a process, followed by a decline in interest and a return to everyday business. To keep things going in momentum, try not to ditch or change the strategy. Instead, your focus should be on preventing a loss of momentum. Avoid changing the plan too much or too frequently as this can easily lead to losing credibility with employees or other team players. Changes should be gradual or even iterative rather than dramatic. Having said that, this does not apply to when there are clear-cut signs of warning and you need to move quickly to tweak your plan accordingly. In practice, successful execution is that which adapts to situations that emerge. Successful execution evolves, and an organization's sustainability depends on its willingness and ability to adapt. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.